Welcome to Ansol, the best place to learn certain works. Today we will carry thermal induced stress study in order to learn how to link thermal analysis results with static results. Okay, we will open SolidWorks now. First of all, we will make a 3D model of a bar. So make a sketch on right plane, draw a center rectangle using rectangle tool, sketch from origin, now assign the dimension that is 10 millimeter and height of rectangle is also 10 millimeter exit from sketch on feature tab extrude this sketch depth is 100 millimeter model of a bar now Just save your work now So our next step is to start the thermal simulations. Click on simulation tab. Click on new study. And select thermal study. Give a specific name. Now assign material to this bar. Click on this bar and apply materials. Let's suppose that the bar is made of plain carbon steel. On thermal loads, right click and assign temperature. Select the left surface of the bar. Change units to Celsius degree and enter the value 100. Then right click on thermal loads, click on temperature, select right face at this time, change units to Celsius degree. And run this study button on simulation. Wait until solution completes. Our thermal simulation has completed now. You can see how the temperature is changing from left that was at high temperature to right and that was at low temperature. Okay. Now we'll start another study that is structural study. Click again on simulation tab and click on new study. At this time, select static. Give a specific name that is thermal. Again, assign material to this bar that is plain carbon steel. At fixtures, the both ends of this bar are fixed. So select fixed geometry option and select the left end and also the right end. So we applied our fixed boundary conditions. And the signal load right click and select thermal effects. Check temperature from thermal study. That is the thermal analysis. Click OK. So we can link our thermal study to this static study. So our simulation setup is complete. Run your simulation now and wait until simulation completes.
okay you can see how stresses due to thermal load are induced at left hand right click on stress at the definitions select mega pascal units make a user defined scale let's put this as the 50 maximum stress occurs that is 738 megapascal on left hand this is the stress due to thermal loads so click on the displacement right click on displacement edit definitions that we want to see the displacement in x directions these are different in chart options use floating see the displacement maximum displacement at center of the bar that is 0 0.015 millimeter now we will check the deformation in z and y axis then right click on displacement edit definitions and select y displacement that is 0 0.005 millimeter and similarly in z direction it will also may be same yes in z direction it is also in same on one end it is positive on other end it is negative because we have we made the bar at center of the origin so we have see how thermal loads affect the formation of stresses.